I'm Greg Nibbler, and this is DTE Daily. Coming up, NASA offers cash to find asteroids. Huge glass domes get the green light in South Korea, and solving a Rubik's Cube in three seconds with Legos. Unless you haven't been to the movies in 20 years, you probably know that if a comet or asteroid were to hit the Earth, the outcome is generally pretty bad, like atomic bomb bad. Just last year, there was a close call in Russia. So NASA is taking a page from the crowdsourcing book and asking amateur astronomers to help them locate asteroids whizzing around in our solar system. Better yet, they're adding some cash into the mix to the tune of $35,000. And NASA isn't just asking stargazers to find the asteroids, they also want ideas about what to do about them if they, you know, might be headed our way, which seems fairly important, right? Get more details at the link below. Saving animals from extinction is an important but kind of depressing topic, but a new project in South Korea just upped the cool factor immensely. Construction of several gigantic glass-enclosed biodomes is scheduled to begin this December and should be completed in 2016. Inside the giant domes, located in one of the last wild areas on the heavily populated peninsula, animal saviors will attempt to boost populations of nearly extinct birds, mammals, and reptiles. If the project works, the animals will then be released into the real wild for further population growth. Best of all, humans can visit the sci-fi-like facility, which will incorporate all manner of green tech, including solar and geothermal power, natural lighting, green buildings, and so on. Seems like a great idea, and it's probably less expensive than putting domed forests on spaceships. You've probably taken a crack at a Rubik's Cube at some point in your life, and if you're like us, it's now probably tucked away in some dark junk drawer because you couldn't solve it. A problem three-year-old Emily Gitmeyer doesn't seem to have. Way to go, Emily. Of course, solving the iconic puzzle has become a cottage industry, and the newest champ is, of course, a robot. Named CubeStormer 3, you may have noticed that it's made out of Legos and a smartphone. So how fast can this Lego Superbot solve the cube? Well, let's see. Yeah, that's right, just a tick over three seconds. What's more, the guys who built it say they'll be back again with a faster robot next time. So get back to work, Emily. Your three-minute time is way off pace. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.